Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and we're going to do a really quick video today because I have very little time. I had to go out of town this morning to do, take care of some business, and I just got home, and it's already after three, so this is going to have to be a quick one. Now, I've just got a piece of my coffee dyed paper, and I am going to show you how to coffee dye paper quick and easy like I do. Maybe your style it may not, but I'll show you how I do it, but not in this video. Um, now you're gonna I've already folded mine but I'm just gonna tell you you're just gonna take and fold up the bottom and I think I folded it up let's see where might my ruler be there we go I folded it up about two and a quarter inches on the bottom from this side this is how our little fold is right here then you're gonna flip it over out of the fold on the back and then from this side over here, you're going to come in about three and a half inches. And it doesn't have to be exact because this is not an exact project. And then on this side, you're going to come in about three and three quarter inches. And you're going to fold that over like that. And you may have already seen some of these pockets out there. Then you're going to take this little flap up here at the top and you're going to fold it down. Make sure that it's even with the edge here. Fold that down that way. And then you're going to go to this one that's on this side and you're not going to fold it out. You're going to fold it in like that. Okay. So that one's folded in like that. And then that one is folded out and it makes kind of a little tuxedo look. But then you've got pockets everywhere. Now, you can leave it like this, you can just stamp on it, you can just, you know, put some ink on it, but I'm going to go ahead and put some paper on mine. Now, this is, this is a freebie that I got off of, who did I get this off of? I think, okay, I'm not sure who I got this off of, I'll try to leave the link below, it was a freebie off of her Facebook page. I saw on uh, YouTube, YouTube when I was watching her video, she said she had this freebie. So I went over and joined her group and printed it off. It was for anybody that was in her group. I just thought it was cute, so I went over there and printed it off for myself. Okay, so then we've got that. I just put that piece, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but that's just what I had left. So I put that piece there. Now, we have a piece cut for this little pocket right here, so that's going to be a pocket. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this edge of this pocket down. Just right there. Put a little bit of glue. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and glue this edge of this pocket down. Like that. And then I'm going to put a mat right across here, and I think I cut this one for it. Let's see. I went ahead and cut my mats and everything last night so that I could be prepared today. There's my mat. I'm going to put that right there. And I'm not inking anything up just for time's sake, but you could always ink it up. It would be very, very pretty. I don't like to do quick videos like this, but I did want to show you guys this pocket because I know I've had lots of people asking me to do more pocket videos, so that's what I'm trying to do. And then on this flap right here, I've cut this piece, and this is all out of that same one sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Really not even that big because, you know, you've got that border that you have to trim off. So it covers this whole pocket. right there make sure I kind of get it halfway straight there we go okay then for this one we have a piece let me see how I cut it to go I think I actually cut it for out here. And yes, my butterfly is going to be kind of flying sideways, which is which doesn't bother me, but I'm going to put something else on top of that. So I'm just going to put this one on the outside here. Now, I can't tell you the sizes of these. It'll depend on your paper. Just kind of adjust them to the size that you want. 
or you know you may use a larger sheet of paper than I do or I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing now we're gonna put, put a little mat right here that would be that little mat I just kind of laid my pieces up there and put a little mark with my pencil and then cut them out not any high-tech measuring so we've got that isn't that cute so far I think it is now you can put this one on top which is probably what I'll do put that one on top like that I like that then what else did I cut then for the inside right here and I seen a girl the other day do this on one of her videos and I thought it was ingenious so we're gonna make this into a little pocket right here on this side so I'm just gonna glue this back part and then down here and then down this side so that's gonna be a little pocket right there so see then we can still slide let me grab something and still slide something in there like little tags and then over here on this side we're gonna do the same thing and like I said all of this is still out of that one sheet of paper so you can make a lot of these And without very much paper at all so there we go we've got that little pocket there so we can slide some little tags up in there now for this part right here I didn't actually cut anything out so I'm probably going to stamp something on that and I think you could leave this open and let that be a little tuck spot if you wanted to I think I'm gonna glue mine down just so that it doesn't hinder when I start to fold this pocket up but you could always leave yours to where you could have a little tuck spot there. All right, I think I'm just going to stamp something on there. And I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz. These are the wildflowers. I'm just going to grab this, and I think I'm just going to stamp that little flower right there. Let me grab a block. And then I need another piece of paper or something to put down here. Not that, a piece of paper. Because I don't want to stamp below that. And I'm just going to use my black memento. You could use any of your inks. It doesn't have to be memento. I just gra happened to grab this one first. Now I think I'm going to stamp off and then stamp there we go and stamp again there that looks good enough because that's going to be on the inside and I'll probably go ahead and just put one over here too There we go. So there is the inside. I think that's cute. So let's lay that over there. Close our ink up. Okay. So we have that and now it's just a matter of decorating. Now I'm going to leave the back of mine plain because I plan on gluing it down on my page and then I'll be able to open this up and have all kinds of little pockets and tucks. So let's see. I'm thinking about putting that there I've got this little butterfly that I want to put down here I think that'll look all right right there and I just fussy cut this little piece out from a piece of paper that I had so we're gonna put that right up through there There we go. And then I'm going to put this little butterfly down here. Let's see. Let's put him right there. Like he's flying away from this flower. And I'm not going to put his little wings down. I'm going to leave them kind of up a little bit. And then this came out of the uh, one of her free printables too. It just says thankful. So we're going to put that down.
right across there. And then I just had some, this is just a piece of paper and it's just got script on it. And I just cut that out, or I didn't cut it out, I tore it out. I just tore out around that script just to kind of make it look like I had a little piece of writing there. And I'm gonna put that right there, but I wanna put something else there too. So let me grab my little ephemera book. Or my big ephemera book. I always call it little and it's not anywhere. There's nothing little about it. Let's see. What are we going to put there? Um, I just want some little something across there. But I don't know what. Look in Tim Holtz field notes and see if we come up with anything. We could bring this little butterfly up here. That's cute. It kind of blends in. Let's do that. Let's just put this down and then we'll have two butterflies on this one. that little butterfly right there like he's flying away in that direction from the flower over here all right what do you guys think do we need anything else on here i don't want to get it too full all right let's open it up and see what we got going in here I may put a little book page down here since I don't really have, um, this paper doesn't really go all the way down. You, you wouldn't have to. That's just th what I think I will do. Let's see. You could just leave it as is. No problem in that at all. Because really, a lot of this on the inside is not going to get seen anyway. But I think I'm going to put that book page down there. Let me tear it off just a little bit more at the bottom. Yeah, that works. I like that and then I'm gonna put a couple of little mushrooms here I have no idea why I've gotten into mushrooms lately I guess because they came in this little kit of Tim Holtz and I just think they're cute <laughs> no reason other than that Let's see what we got that we could put between those. That's cute. That kind of goes with the other colors on this page. Now, normally I would be inking most everything on here, but like I said, for time's sake, because I don't want to, I don't want this video to go up at midnight tonight, because I still have to edit it. And I did have some videos filmed ahead of time, but I have already used all those up, so I'm going to have to get ahead again. So when I have a day like I've had today, where I have to be busy and gone, then I'll have some videos to upload. Okay, so there we go with that. There is the inside. Now I'll show you. Let me grab a couple of little pieces that we can insert in these pockets. Like that. And you could even put another one. You know, put two little things in each pocket. And then you could put something in this pocket. Let's grab something. Put some things in this pocket. There you go. And then when you fold this over, of course, you can put more things in this pocket. 
let's find our little tags. Where are they? Let's see. These little tea cards would be pretty in there. Oops. No, I didn't glue it down. A little tea card right there. There you go. So you've got those little cards in there. And then, of course, I want to put a piece of bling on here. Let's grab something. I want to put some bling on the butterflies. So that's too bright. I may just put some little white ones on there. There you go. So that is the little pocket card. Isn't that cute? You can do this out of pattern paper if you want. And then you wouldn't have to do quite as much decorating on there. But you can use these to send in the mail as little cards. Slide a gift card or something down in there. Or you can use them in your journals. Uh, you can also put a larger tag here. Let me see if I can grab something. Let's just pretend this is a larger tag, which it's not, but we'll pretend. You could put a larger tag down in there, like that. We'll just take this piece, and this was a tag that was a freebie from this same Facebook page. And like I said, I will link her video um, channel below, and then you will have to asked to join her Facebook page. She always has it linked below her video. I think every Friday she has a freebie, a free digital. And while I'm doing this, I am still working on the May count for our May challenge. I'm still counting. I've got probably one more batch to go and then I, sh I should have everybody verified and we'll be ready to have our drawing. So just be patient till I can get everybody counted up. I don't want to miss anything or anybody. All right, so there is a nice little card. And we'll put a little topper on it. Let's just cut a little piece of this lace and we'll put that on the top as a little topper. It doesn't always have to be paper. You can put lace or different things on for your pull. And see, I've got that book page on the back, or, well, music page, I should say. And you can journal on that if you want to, that music page. Okay, then we're going to put one more thing right here at the top just to cover up where I put that lace on. And it's another one of her little printouts, and it just says grateful. It's another little label. So we're just going to put that across there. Then we can slide that right down in here, right down in there like that. So there we go. There is our little card and tag. I think that's cute and it was quick and easy. You saw how quick I made it. I mean, maybe 15 minutes. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing your take on this project. You guys come up with some of the most amazing takes on some of these projects that I do. I, I love seeing them. So don't forget to go over and join our Facebook page and share your ideas over there. And don't forget about the June challenge. I'll have a link below that'll have all of the information for the June challenge. Looking forward to seeing what all you come up with. We will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.